Hello everyone. In this video, we are given a nice looking geometric figure where we have a yellow colored outer circle inside which we have a square ABCD which is inscribed and inside that we have a circle the pink color circle which is inscribed and inside that we have a quadrilateral PQRS which is inscribed. Now we are given the radius of the outer circle that is equal to 10 cm. We are supposed to find the perimeter of the inner quadrilateral the blue color quadrilateral PQRS. So before we proceed to the solution if you like my content please do subscribe to my channel. Since we have so many figures in this given question, it might get uh, a little bit confusing if we start dealing with them all together. So let us uh, start with the outermost circle and the square. Okay, so let's start with them. So I have already copied them. So I will bring them out. So we have the outer circle and the green colored square. Okay, let me minimize this to have more space. So let me place it here. What do we know about the circle? The radius of the circle is given, right? It is 10 centimeter. So how do we visualize the radius? That is, if I, uh, let us say, if I join the points A and C. So this length AC will be a diagonal of the square as well as the diameter of the circle. Isn't it? So if I take this as the center of the circle, we know that this is 10. This is the radius and this is also 10, which is the radius, which means the length of AC, right? The length of AC will be 10 plus 10. That is 20 centimeters. Okay. And since ABCD is a square, we know that this must be a right angle, isn't it? That angle B must be a right angle. All the angles are right angles. So we have a right angle triangle ABC. Now I will apply Pythagoras theorem. So if I take triangle ABC for this right angle triangle, the Pythagoras theorem says that the square of the hypotenuse, which is AC square, will be equal to AB square plus BC square. Right. So this is the Pythagoras theorem. And uh, let us say that the side length of the square is x. Okay. Let me take it as x. So BC will be x and AB will also be x. Okay. All the sides are equal to x. Now let's apply the theorem here. AC will be 20. Right. So AC square will be 20 square. That is equal to AB square is x square plus BC square is x square. Now x square plus x square will be what? It will be 2x square. Right. So I will write it here. 2x square is equal to 20 square. 20 square is nothing but 20 into 20 which is 400 okay which means x square will be equal to 400 divided by 2 which is equal to 200 so we have the value of x square using this you can find out x but x is not much required in this problem we need the side length of the inner quadrilateral not this square so let me just keep it as it is okay i'll just keep it as it is and we know the value of x square let me take it as equation number one here Okay, so we have got this result from the outermost circle and the square that is inscribed in it. Now let us take the inner parts. Okay, I'm going to take the green color square along with the pink color circle and the blue color quadrilateral. Okay, so now here we have the required figure. So let me bring it over here. So we have taken the square, the circle and the inner quadrilateral. now. Okay, so now we are going to work with this figure. We had taken the side length of this square as x, isn't it? So this is x. Here in this figure, as you can see, square is a symmetric figure, right? And circle also is a symmetric figure. Because of that, we can conclude that, we can safely conclude that P, Q, R, S are the midpoints of the sides of the square. So we can conclude that P, Q, R, S are the midpoints. Okay, they are the midpoints why because of symmetry it's due to symmetry so the figure is symmetric because of that we can say that this length will be equal to this length and this length and this length this length this length this length this length because they are all the midpoints so they are all equal because BC is equal to X this will be half of X that is X by 2 we can say this is X by 2 and this is also X by 2 right that is also X by 2 and we know this angle B is a 90 degree angle so now let us focus on this right angle triangle over here I'm going to highlight this I'm going to 
take this right angle triangle PBQ, we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem to this triangle once again. And I'm going to take the side length PQ as A. Okay, I'm just taking it as A here. Now we are taking the triangle, triangle PBQ. In the triangle PBQ, applying Pythagoras theorem, we get PQ square is equal to PB square plus BQ square. Now what is PQ? PQ is taken as A, right? So it will be A square that is equal to PB is x by 2. So PB square is x by 2 the whole square plus BQ is also x by 2. So it is uh, uh, BQ square will be x by 2 the whole square. So we have A square is equal to x square is x square. 2 square will be 4 plus x square by 4. Okay. So if you take 4 as common denominator, you can add x square plus x square, which will become 2x square. And uh, you can cancel out this 2, 1 is a 2 and 2, 2 is a 4. So because of this, we get we get the value of x a square as x square by 2. Okay. But we do know the value of x square, right? From the first figure, we found out the value of x square as 200. So we'll just substitute it here. So x square is 200. So x square by 2 will be 200 by 2, which is equal to 100. Okay. So because of this, we get the value of a square is equal to 100 which means a will be equal to square root of 100, which is nothing but 10 centimeter. So the side length PQ over here is 10 centimeter. Okay. And you can see, uh, since uh, PQRS are the midpoints here, because of symmetry, all these four triangles, which I'm going to highlight, that is uh, triangle PAS and triangle SRD and triangle uh, Q, C, R, all of these triangles will be congruent triangles. Okay, so all these triangles that is I'm going to mark it properly Q, C, R, they are all congruent because of symmetry. You can use uh, mathematical theorems to prove that. So because of that, all these side lengths will also be A. Okay, so these will also be A here. Okay, so all the side lengths are 10 centimeter. So because of that, we can get the perimeter very easily. So I will just write it here. So we want the perimeter of this figure, right? So perimeter of PQRS. Perimeter of PQRS will be nothing but 4 times 10, right? So we have PQ. So I'll just write the step here. PQ plus QR plus rs plus sp so pq is 10 plus qr is 10 plus rs is 10 and sp also is 10 so because of that the perimeter is 40 centimeter in fact the figure pqrs is a square okay i will uh, you know leave the proof to you you can uh, try to prove that using the theorems but then we have arrived at the answer the perimeter of the figure pqrs is nothing but 40 centimeter okay so this was a question that appeared in the uh, cat exam and I hope all of you like the solution for this question so for more such videos please subscribe to my channel I will see you all in the next video